Blade Runner 2049 is getting a prequel anime series in 2019. Hold on. Maybe it's the original Blade Runner from 1982 that's getting a sequel series. What up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia show where we talk about current news that relates to all things retro. Alright, we've got to talk about this new Blade Runner series that's coming to Crunchyroll and Cartoon Network's Adult Swim sometime in 2019. There is not a lot of news on the show yet, but there is enough to keep us a little bit satisfied for now. But the two companies did announce that the anime has a working title of Blade Runner Black Lotus and it's going to be produced by Shinichiro Watanabe. He's the same director that created the Blade Runner anime short called Blackout which came out right before 2049 and was not only a well created anime short, it was very well received by the fans. The new Blade Runner show is going to be 13 episodes of 30 minutes each. And it's going to air during Adult Swim's anime-centric programming block Toonami. But you can also stream it on the anime site Crunchyroll. And the anime is going to take place 13 years after the original Blade Runner movie. But according to the press release, the series is going to feature some familiar characters that were in the Blade Runner franchise. Although we're going to have to wait to find out who it is. And interestingly enough, in October it was announced that there is going to be a Blade Runner comic book that follows up where Blade Runner 2049 leaves off. So it looks like if you're a Blade Runner fan, you're going to have a ton of ways to get your fix. I'm pretty stoked about all this news, and having read the book uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and watching the original growing up, it's really cool to see them continue creating the movies, the shorts, and the different media about Blade Runner. So hey, let me know what you think about the anime series, and if you like this video, be sure to watch the next video that is right over there. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, guys, it ain't worth watching.